Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look at HMIs and more precisely add, um, I have created a comfort panel here. Uh, we're going to look at those things, at sliders and at graph, at bar graphs, um, but the bar graph and the slider, they behave the same in the topic we're going to talk about, which is limits, right? Setting specific limits. Um, that's why this can go away. And we're just going to use the slider here. So what we want to do is look at limitations, right? Therefore, if I click on the um, slider itself, we want to talk, let's take an example. We want to talk about temperature. So this should be something like temperature, right? temperature. There we go. Um, of course, this temperature would be usually driven by a PLC tag, but I will just create some HMI tags here. Um, let's create an HMI tag that is called temperature. And you see this is an internal tag, which means it's only there on the HMI. So now I can just assign this to my graph here, to my uh, slider diagram. I go there, I go here, and there I have my temperature, which is an HMI tag right now, um, not driven by a PLC because I'm not using a PLC. So it's just on the HMI. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Here we go, got this, right? And if I now start my simulation, I can do that just clicking on top here and starting the simulation. <clears throat> you can see I can just use this slider from zero to 100 right? because that is what I have used. Now, if we're looking at temperature, let's say room temperature, and this is a thermostat, I don't want to set it from zero to 100 degrees Celsius. Let's say this is Celsius uh, to make that clear. <laughs> this is <laughs> a degree Celsius. Wait, no, uh, degree Celsius, there we go. <clears throat> we want this to be um, flexible a little bit, right? Depending on what you have, you want the minimum maybe 30, uh, no, for room temperature, maybe 15, the maximum maybe 35. So I can just set that manually here. So 30 and the, wait, no, 15 and the maximum 35 whatsoever, right? I can set those and now my um, diagram, shows just these values and I can just choose from them right from 15 to 35. It looks a little bit ugly now. I'm not going to concentrate on this just to show you. You can change this here by the layout and by the general appearance. And uh, where is it? I think it's is it a layout border appearance somewhere in there. You can change the um, the lines and how many there are and stuff like this. I'm not going to look at this right now. That's pretty enough. <clears throat> The first thing we could do is if we have changing minimum and maximum value, we could make a tag for it. This could sit a variable that could sit on the PLC or on the HMI. I would just create it here on the HMI. I go to my tag tab and I would say um, maximum temperature and minimum temperature. There we go. Again, internal tags because I want to use those internally. I will make this hover and I will put my maximum temperature, I can just drag and drop that here. I can drop, uh, drag and drop the minimum here. All right, now they're just there. I mean, it's ugly, but you know where I'm getting it, I hope. Um, now that I have these two, right, I can control the temperatures now with those fields here. What is left to do is I can set a tag for maximum and a tag for minimum. Those are the two well, limits that we have here. So I can take this and just say maximum temperature. I can take this and just say minimum temperature. And now <laughs> if I'm going to start, this should, I don't even know what's going to happen yet. That, that should happen because both of them are zero <laughs> from the beginning on. Those both are zero, but I want, maybe I should want the minimum should be 15. The maximum should be 60 whatsoever. And now I can control the minimum and maximum with these two, nine is my new minimum whatsoever. So that's already way better. This is an easy use of the minimum and maximum there. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy, very good already. <clears throat> yes, that's the first part that I want to show. Of course, those can be driven from the PLC as well, right? Need to be integer values though. So the next thing I want to show you is it's a bit annoying. If I restart this now, you see this, it starts at zero. We don't want those to start at zero. We can set a start value for these. I go to my default tech table and there I can just select the, we don't want alarms now. I can just select the maximum minimum temperature 
And then in properties, properties, we have values. And there we can set a start value. So the, the maximum temperature should basically start when we boot up at 40 and the minimum should start at 15. Right? To avoid that problem that we had earlier. So now we will have 15 to, what did I say, 45 from the beginning on, right? Very good. I can also, of course, set the temperature to a start value, let's say 30, that's somewhere in the center. And there we go, now it starts at 30. So that's pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty neat, right? <clears throat> Next thing is actually the limits. That's what I uh, uh, talked, uh, that's what I said we're going to talk about today. Um, this is just the, uh, the slider itself. Um, now we're getting to the limit values. If I go to my screen, back to my screen down there, and back on my slider, Right, back on my slider, in the properties, we have the so-called limits and ranges. Limits and ranges. And there you see a lot of question marks. You see a lot of question marks and you see show ranges from the tag. If you click on show ranges from the tag, you will see this looks way different now. Right? It looks way different now. There's a lot of fancy colors. If I press play now, if I start my simulation or download it to the HMI, it will look the same. It does look the same because we have not set those limit values. We have not set the range that we want to work in. So let's see what we have. If I click on this, basic panels only have the upper and lower limit one. Comfort panels have upper and lower one and two. <clears throat> so we have here upper limit two, that is the maximum temperature. Like this is the highest. If this is reached, if this area is reached, we're going to die because it's too hot. If the lower temperature, uh, area is reached that's too low we're going to freeze the lower one and upper one those are warning areas like that's 40 degrees celsius that's too hot already so we're going to sweat so it should be cooler this one here is maybe 10 degrees celsius so that's too cold for inside so it should be hotter so we can change the colors here that's what i always do the first maybe this will get a light blue and this will get a dark blue for really freezing right for really freezing things so that's what we have. The green area would be nice to have. Good. But you see, those are just question mark values here. Those are a little bit bad. This is bad. We don't want question marks. We want real values in there. And what we can do is we go to our tag. We actually define the values at the tag. So if I go to my temperature, you also see there is a so-called range. And there is a so-called range and there we'll find our lower one, lower two, upper one, upper two. We can just set the values right here. Now I forgot what was the maximum, what was the minimum? <laughs> 15 and 45, let's make it 50 and 10. So I actually uh, don't forget about these 50 and 10. And then for our temperature, let's give it a range. So the highest we are allowed to get is like 40. 40 to 50, that's too hot. That's a red area, we are not allowed to go there. The thermostat we cannot even set the thermostat to that area what we could do is we could have none that's no area that's what we have in the beginning we have a constant if i say constant i can just type in a value here i can just type in a value so 40 40 is our higher limit so if we go to 40 i hit enter there that's why i realized i really put it in 40 is the highest value we are allowed to go on the other side for the lowest limit here i will also put a constant and that is 15? 15 is still okay. I'm not going to die with 15 Celsius. <clears throat> yeah. We also have lower one and lower two, uh, lower and upper one. That's how it's called. But let's look at these first. So if I now go to my simulation, you can already see the upper two and upper one, right? Um, there we go. We could also have this on a variable to set that um, differently. Hey, we have the French flag. <laughs> um, and now you can see with the slider itself, I cannot go into the, those areas because they are there for error scenarios. The PLC and calculations could still drive the value into that area, but we cannot do that with the slider. So that's our limit for the slider, which makes a lot of sense because we don't want to go in there. It's just a warning. Like That makes more sense for the bar. Right? Um, if I now, for example, set this even to 40, we cannot... Uh, what, 40? Let's say 30. We cannot even see the range anymore, right? We could, of course, limit it like this, um, but usually you would leave it something like this, and then you can see when it's getting too hot. Maybe it's driven by the PSC or something. So that is the upper limit two and lower limit two. 
we still have the lower one and a higher one, right, upper one. We could now drive these with an HMI tag, right, with a variable. Let's not do that because that's just effort we don't need. I, I think you know how to do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do HMI tag for the lower limit, right? But then we need to create a, an HMI tag first, lower limit temperature. That will display us, hey, this is the dangerous area. This is where it starts. So I'll give this also a start value that is below 20. Below 20 is too cold for me, so I can just type that in. So the lower starts with an HMI tag, and this should be our lower limit temp, right? The upper warning will be at like 35-ish. I'll put that as a constant here. Let's also put that a lower limit temperature on the screen here. And we're pretty much done. So that's, that's this. Let's see. I start this up. <clears throat> I cannot go into the red area up top, right? Because that is our error area. I cannot go in the lower area below into the dark blue, <clears throat> but I can go, you see it into the light blue area, which is a warning, right? We could use that as a warning. I can go into the orange, which is also a warning. I should be in the green area, which is the nice area where everyone feels comfortable, right? The bar graph works very similar. The gauge, by the way, also works that way. Like, if I put in my gauge here, this one here, it also has the limit and ranges and you see it works very similar. The bar graph also has the same, works very similar. What we can also see now, if I click on my, <clears throat> on my slider again, you can see the temperatures have been filled out here and you can see the ranges, you can evaluate the ranges here. You can change them here that's what you do directly at the variable in your tag table in the hmi and in your range in our case in the temperature good so that's been um 12 minutes quick quick tutorial on limits for hmis very valuable used a lot almost everywhere you should almost use it everywhere a uh, pretty cool topic good Last thing, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to check out the forum in the link in the description below. You see there's a lot of people actually contributing. Very good, awesome, I love it. Thanks everyone for, contribu for your contribution. Last thing, I already said last thing. Next last thing, I've got to go fund me. If you want to support me, just check out the link in the description below. Uh, um, thanks, Senkunyan. Hey, thanks, awesome, that's great, I love it. <laughs> and thanks, Tommy Boy. Um, for tossing some coin in my direction because I'm having a lot of effort with those videos. I'm also having fun, but I mean, you enjoy it, you learn it, you can toss some coin in my direction if you want, not mandatory. Liking the video, mandatory. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Have a nice day, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And if you've got questions, just put them in the comments below. Maybe someone's going to answer them. I usually, I, I try, but I can't all the time. Bye-bye.